The fact that Sweden has been producing high quality steel for a long time is no secret. As a matter of fact, in Germany, they used to call the bars on prison windows Swedish Gardinen, or Swedish curtains, because of the steel. Today, I'm here with a scrap container made from Hardox 450. Apparently, this is the hardest and toughest steel in the world and can withstand virtually any kind of destructive force. We're here to put that to the test. Behind me is a monster machine, a powerful earth-moving truck that weighs over 26 tons and has the power to lift more than eight tons. This machine is controlled by an operator who's not afraid of anything, and he'll stop at nothing to break our Hardox container. Can he succeed? Let's see what the SSAB experts have to say. The Hardox steel is designed to handle impact, actually. It's the combined effect of uh, hardness and toughness, dent resistance in the material, that will protect this container, so I can't foresee any problems. Well, it is a powerful machine, and it's going to be ramming into this container at full speed. The container wears the hard oxygen body sign, which is a guarantee that a container or a truck body or a bucket is made out of genuine hard ox wear plate. And with hard ox, a container like this can be made very light and still very strong. It's time to bring it on. He's going to push the container off the cliff. <laughs> the experts didn't see this one coming. The container took a beating today. Now, the experts have had a chance to take a closer look and analyze these impacts. Let's find out what they're thinking. We didn't find anything on the container except dirt and scratches on the outside. So now we're going to do the final test to see if it's broken or not. We'll turn it upside down, fill it with smoke, and then look for leaks. So, how does it look? Uh, it's no smoke as far as I can see. Oh, it seems to be whole and intact. Well, the wild driver and his monster machine couldn't beat the Hardox steel container, even with his steel bucket, steel forks, and several attempts to try and break it. But the question still remains if it can resist our next set of tests. See you next time on the Bring It On Show. Next time, we'll meet a demolition expert and his wrecking ball. Be prepared for some major demo action with heavy impact and a lot of flying objects. See this and more at hardoxinmybody.com.